Neurons are the building blocks of the nervous system. Neurons have three distinct parts including dendrites, cell body and axon which helps in transmission of information in the form of electrical and chemical signals. These neuron cells are excitable cells which generate and transmit signals by action potential either in the presence and absence of stimulus. When a neuron is not being stimulated, it maintains a resting membrane potential which is about minus 70 millivolt. This minus sign indicates that the inside of the cell is negative with respect to the outside. The resting membrane potential is maintained by two major membrane bound channels, sodium potassium pumps and potassium leaky channels. The sodium potassium pump sends three sodium ions outside and in exchange brings two potassium ions inside. Whereas potassium leaky channel sends potassium ions outside the cell. The chemical force produced by unequal concentration of ions across the membrane leaves behind unbalanced negative charge within the cell. Thereby, these two major forces create membrane potential referred as resting potential. A nerve cell that exhibits a resting membrane potential is said to be polarized. The successive stages of generating action potential are The first stage is the resting phase or the polarized stage. During this stage, the sodium-potassium channels are closed, only potassium leaky channels are open, which leak potassium ions outside the cell. The next stage is depolarization stage. At this time, a stimulus opens some sodium channels. The consequent influx of sodium ion through these channels depolarizes the membrane with the potential rising from minus 70 millivolt to minus 40 millivolt and this is called the depolarization. If the depolarization reaches the threshold, it triggers the action potential. The third phase is the rising phase of action potential in which the depolarization opens most of the sodium channels. So the great excess of the positive sodium ions and flux causes the membrane potential to actually overshoot beyond the zero level and to become somewhat positive up to plus 30 millivolt. The next stage is the falling phase of the action potential or the repolarization stage. Within a few milliseconds after the membrane becomes highly permeable to the sodium ions, the sodium channels begin to close and the potassium channels open. By permitting the potassium ions outflow, it re-establishes the normal negative resting membrane potential again. This is called the repolarization of the membrane. The fifth stage is the undershoot stage or the hyperpolarized stage. During this stage, the sodium channels remain closed but some of the potassium channels remain still open. So the membrane potential temporarily becomes more negative about minus 90 millivolt than the resting state. <laughs> 